the American Library Association has written the following. 1,269 demands to censor library books and resources in 2022, the highest number of attempted book bans since ALA began compiling data about censorship in libraries more than 20 years ago. The unparalleled number of reported book challenges in 2022 nearly doubles the 729 challenges reported in 2021. My first part of my question is going to ask you to address that uh, statement by the American Library Association in light of testimony before us that this is much ado about nothing. And the second one is the notion that book uh, extremist attacks on student uh, and book bans are not that prevalent. Book banning has reached new heights over the past two years. Local leaders in states such as Texas, Florida, Utah, Missouri, Iowa, Indiana, and others have all recently enacted legislation facilitating banning books in local school districts and libraries. These new laws provide for civil penalties and or jail time for violations that pose great risk to teachers and librarians. And that's why groups like the American Library Association have spoken out. Can you reflect on those two statements? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the two are related. Uh, as state librarian, I travel the state of Illinois and we talk to uh, librarians, we talk to libraries, school libraries, public libraries. The level of threats, intimidation, physical threats in talking to library, librarians are not my viewpoints. They have never seen it in their entire careers. Because of these political uh, attempts to ban books, we're seeing libraries close down at record numbers. It's difficult to find new librarians who want to serve in roles that used to be their dream jobs. And just uh, a few weeks ago, in the suburbs of Chicago, numerous libraries received bomb threats and were forced to close their doors. So I can tell you in Illinois, it's a very real and across the country, the problem is worse. And again, what our bill aims to do and will do is to fight for and protect these librarians. We have to fight for our librarians. We also have to trust that they have the professional uh, judgment, experience, to make decisions on what books belong in their in circulation. It should not be up to uh, fringe elements screaming from the rooftops about books that they've never read. These are librarians and individuals that have advanced degrees in library science, masters of library science, masters of information in library science, and it's important to make sure that we allow them to determine what's in circulation, and it's important for us to trust parents to determine what books their kids should, be, should uh, read. And again, it is not up to parents to tell other parents what, ki what books kids should read. Another point I'd like to make when it comes to our legislation, we are not advocating for any single book to be at a library or not be at a library. What we're saying is let's trust our librarians to make these decisions, not an individual parent that's angry or disagrees with a certain viewpoint. Judy Bloom said recently, I believe that censorship grows out of fear. And because fear is contagious, some parents are easily swayed. Book banning satisfies their need to feel in control of their children's lives. This fear is often disguised as, quote, moral outrage. They want to believe that if their children don't read about it, and their then their children won't know about it. And if they don't know about it, it won't happen. As I mentioned in my opening remarks, I have three young daughters. Of course there are books that are not age appropriate, but that's what being a parent is all about, doing your best to keep an eye on what your children read and what they consume. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would just add as well that putting this in, in the context of the world we live in where so much information is so available to people carrying simply iPhones or any laptop computer that they have access to, uh, that we ought to be honest and realistic about that. I agree with you. The first responsibility is the parent's responsibility. And we believe there are age-appropriate uh, restrictions that can be uh, introduced in libraries and other places, which generally uh, are consistent with freedom of expression. 